Welcome to another episode of 100% Fresh with Two Chef Mission. Today we are talking about our five strategies um, to, on meal planning with a tight schedule. So and this is this is for all of you who either have a really tight schedule or you have a family that is really busy. Yeah, and now with being back at school, coming back off of winter break, Mm -hmm. it is definitely going to start picking up and getting busier for those families. Yeah, well, um, it's the start of a new year, so it's jumping back into all of that planning, and I know that a lot of people do lots of goal setting for the new year and things like that, so these are some strategies that can jumpstart your meal planning. Which is awesome. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So our first strategy is having a master recipe list that's always a great thing to have because those are going to be some of your go-to recipes Mm -hmm. family favorites uh easily recreatable um so at the end of the day you're just going to be able to master them quickly Mm -hmm. so that way you can have more speed with them in the nights that you're cooking yeah so basically with these The great thing about having your master list is that you need things, if you're super busy, tight schedule, you just need to get in the kitchen, get done, have dinner, right? You need things that are going to be quick and easy and reliable. And like Tony said, your go-to recipes. And that is going to be on your master recipe list. So if you kind of collect all those up and have your list then it makes it super easy to just look through and pick a couple for the week and then get the items and either, you know, figure out how your cooking schedule is going to look like, but master recipe list. Yeah, absolutely. And that's Mm -hmm. definitely something to uh, keep in your back pocket when you are working through the specifics of what you're going to be working through in the week Mm -hmm. and then our next one is going to be our next tip is theme nights Mm -hmm. and this could be really great especially if you're going to be planning like movie nights or if you're looking to do different types of date nights at home or something i think you went to a different theme but this theme would be it now it's not going to work for everyone for us um this would not be our it would not be a tip that would be like resonating with us. Master recipe list for like those quick nights, yes. Oh, absolutely. Theme nights, maybe not so much entirely because theme nights it helps simplify your decision making. So, if you are someone who really needs those reliable go-to recipes and needs it to be very simple, this could be for you because this would mean like maybe you have um crock pot monday or like slow cooker monday right and then you could have i mean taco tuesday right that's a pretty general one you could do a different type of taco meal right you could do burgers um maybe a casserole so like you could have like your themes as in that so that it's like okay this is the specific type style meal it's going to be and all i have to do is adjust the recipe slightly and that's, it's variety without complexity, basically. Yeah. And that's why if you're a bit more, we're, I'm not going to lie, we're a bit more foodies. So yeah. for us, we like to experiment more. But we are also chefs, so that's a little bit different. But for those of you who maybe, well, you're not us, <laughs> maybe this is a great me. idea an option Mm -hmm. for those tight schedules and it's like you said it's variety without making Mm -hmm. it too complex or making it too you know out there so if you're just looking to be able to spice up your week and you create these themes to follow Mm -hmm. through and the theme could it could be really anything so like tony was kind of going more towards like for instance we had a movie night and we did elemental themed food because we watched elemental so it could be something like that too where you kind of have a little bit more fun with it right but that can also take a little bit more time so these obviously are you know time saver tips (laughs) so 
sense. And not every single one, that's because we just showed that with ourselves, not every single one of these is going to be a perfect fit for you. But most likely one or two of them are. So our next one is having a two-week rotational within your menus. Yeah. So like maybe you have eight recipes that you really love or your family loves because maybe you have um, more of a picky family. Yeah. <laughs> which happens, right? It really does. It it's... happens, especially sometimes when we have younger kids. You need to do things that are um, on the regular, right? Yeah. So you could have your rotation of meals, even if it's like a monthly rotation, right? Your It's going to help simplify your planning and your shopping. And if you suffer for, like, suffer with the decision fatigue and all of that, it very much simplifies that. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you already know what's going to be coming up. You know what recipes are going to be coming into that rotation. And it, like... Melissa, of course, went over and it really simplifies everything over the course of all of your decision making on that. And then the next tip that we're going to go ahead and get into is to separate the meals by time. Or and like your recipes. Yeah, or exactly your recipes mm -hmm. by time. And what we mean by that is specifically the time to completion mm -hmm. that it takes to make that meal. So generally, you would like meals that we make. Typically, I would say be around 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and we do have some quicker meals that take about 15 minutes. And, you know, we separate those specifically into those windows of time. So mm -hmm. that way when we know, like, okay, I maybe have a little bit more time that I can devote into the kitchen and I want to use mm -hmm. a 30-minute recipe. Right. We reach for those. Or if we're really tight on time, as it happens, especially with uh, as parents of young children, um, or just parents of kids in general, or just really anything in general with the busy lifestyle, um, we can reach into those 15-minute meals and mm -hmm. have something done in less than 20 minutes, and now we're able to sit down and have mm -hmm. dinner around the table like normal. Yeah, but that's going to definitely be helpful for your planning out your week if yeah. you're if you're someone who wants to cook nightly. Exactly. You might need to be like, okay. Let's say Wednesday is packed full of activities and things like that. Right. I need something that's going to take 15 minutes. Exactly. And that could also mean that it's more of a quick step recipe where you could be using things from the store that help quicken. Yeah. So, for instance, for us, like, maybe a rotisserie chicken. Yeah, and that's that always can... a really good... And like, that's kind of one of our little sometimes cheats that we get into is doing rotisserie chicken and just grabbing it from the store from mm -hmm. time to time just so that way we have something that we can like most said mm -hmm. do something quickly with well and like because the instance, versatility is right, crazy for an example like it's very easy to get that some lettuce some toppings whether it's like cucumber yeah. tomato maybe some parmesan you can either make some croutons or you just buy some you know grab now you grab a, a vinaigrette salad. or a Caesar mm -hmm. or make it because, of course, there's there's easy things to quicken it. So, like, you don't have to cook yeah. the chicken. It's already done. But you can still make your salad dressing or croutons or things like that. Exactly. So that makes a meal in, like, 15 minutes or less. Yeah. I was like, I'd say it's probably mm -hmm. a 10-minute meal. Mm -hmm. And so separating those out because then it's an easy grab during the week if you're like okay i need two 30 minute meals i might have time for this 45 minute meal and then right. i need some quick 10 to 15 minute meals yeah something that can just be built basically mm -hmm. on a plate and ready to go and then also within that you could separate like your slow cooker or crock pot meals and stuff like that right, because out. those are going to be super helpful and speaking mm -hmm. of helpful that actually jumps into oh, yeah. our last tip, which <laughs> jumped, is to... I jumped ahead. <laughs> okay. So, recipes that utilize helpful appliances, such as... A slow cooker. A slow cooker. Which, they can be fantastic. Uh, we've used them uh, a number of times. They're not generally our first go-to appliance, mm -hmm. just because we, we tend to just cook most nights. We use them for specific items, so... Yeah, specific recipes. Yeah. 
for different, like maybe stew, roast, yes. that kind of thing. Um, so depends, right? But the point is, is that crock pot, instant pot, air fryer. Yep. All of those things are great. Yeah. And they have to, and not only that, but they, so it's going to help you not have to worry about paying attention to things a lot. Yeah. Um, but then also you're reducing your hands on like having to worry about all the prep and stirring exactly. and making sure that it's not getting too hot or stuff because the crock pot is just going to, it's just going to regulate bubble. itself. And then of course, once the meal is done, it'll actually just regulate itself to warm. Mm -hmm. So it's keeping it nice and warm for when it's time to serve. And mm -hmm. the great thing about that, it, it is time saving mm -hmm. and you can like, we were saying you could basically set it earlier in the day and just let it go. And then once it's done, it's, it's going to be waiting for you. So yep. help save time and not as hands on. Yeah. And a little bonus tip about that is if you have a slow cooker recipe for the week, you could always do it a day ahead on oh, yeah on a day that you're cooking and you have your slow cooker going so that you have two meals done already. Yeah. But yeah. that leads a bit more into the whole batch cooking aspect. Yeah, for sure. And if you haven't listened to that podcast episode, um, go back a few and oh, we have sure. an entire episode on batch cooking, which and is, it's, it's such a helpful mm -hmm. little trick in the kitchen to be able to mm -hmm. effectively meal plan and make sure that you guys yeah. have meals built on ahead. Yes. And that's something that we, do yeah is batch cooking because with three little ones it is a lifesaver yeah but it's not always the easiest time to be able to get into the kitchen and make sure that they're having dinner at the normal time <laughs> but yeah anyways we hope these strategies help you out with your tight schedule and with your meal planning so again you're gonna want to think about having a master recipe list mm -hmm. theme nights weeks so either a two week maybe a month rotation of your menus separate your meals by time yep. and then use recipes that utilize helpful appliances such absolutely. as a crock pot absolutely and um we hope that you guys have a great new year because that is coming up yeah and we're excited for 2024 we hope you are too and we are excited to see you guys in the next episode. Um, and also, 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 right. <laughs> if you have not checked it out on our Facebook group, Meal Planning for Busy Parents. Absolutely. We talk about all of these things there as well as share recipes and tips. And we are actually going to have a Confident Kitchen Kickstart yeah coming the second week of january and we would love for you guys to check it out yeah. so so make sure you guys are part of the facebook group again meal planning for busy parents from there you'll be able to see some of the stuff as we're coming out with it for our confident kitchen kickstart as well as you'll be able to see us do weekly lives yeah so until then keep it 100 percent fresh